Okay, so let's get started with the raw file. I will double click it here in Adobe Bridge so it opens up in Camera Raw. So we can start with our editing process. Here you can see the file. It was a beautiful evening, like I already said in the intro, on the Lofoten Islands here close to yeah, Hamnoi, actually in Hamnoi. And it was a full moon night, so you can see my settings up here. There wasn't uh, any long exposure necessary to get all the details in um, this shot. I was actually um, yeah, kind of hoping that some aurora would show up and I actually saw um, a little bit of aurora here on the on the left side but there wasn't any good composition from this bridge and it was only like it was so 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 small and weak so it would be just like a yeah some stripe or something here in the in the sky so nothing special um, but still the full moon was uh, created an amazing mood here and so I still like the image even when there's no northern lights in it and like I said that's the reason why I have those settings here um, I had I have the aperture open f uh, 2.8 I used the Canon 16 to 35 mark 3 on my Canon 5d mark 4 and ISO 1600 which is totally fine on this camera and four seconds and the four seconds was just in case the aurora would show up because when it's moving fast you don't want uh, a long too long exposure because otherwise uh, yeah it will look just blurry and um, like washed out so you still want some structure texture not structure texture in it um, but the nice benefit of the four seconds was also that I still have some details here in the water so some wave action not not big waves but it's not too milky so it still has some dynamic structure which is cool and yeah the good thing about this lens is as you can see it's f 2.8 so wide open and it still has so much sharpness and this is just amazing you see that's 100 percent and of course here in the far back you lose some uh yeah sharpness but it's it was in the middle of the night and with 2.8 I, I think it's it's a pretty good job as you can see here and the noise is still okay as well of course it's a bit noisy but it's like i said it's a night image and the full moon helped of course as well to yeah reduce the noise because there aren't too many really black parts in this image so yeah i'm overall really happy with the raw but i of course further want to i, I of course want to further work with it and one of the first first things I will do is I will work with the white balance because in the middle of the night when you have artificial lights around like here in this village you uh, yeah the white balance gets a bit uh, messed up in the camera but in this case it's not too bad so we don't have to do many things I, I just want to cool it down a smidge actually not a smidge just uh, quite a lot so I get this nice blue full moon feeling which uh, I had uh, when I was there and we will further work with the blues later on in Photoshop but for now this looks fine and yeah I also want to get rid of a bit of this green cast here from the lights of the huts so I will rise up my tint slider something around 11 maybe for the beginning I really like the combination between blue and magenta so you will always well let's say you will find this a lot in my images so yeah that's a good starting point most of the time for me um, then we will go to the lens corrections and remove chromatic aberrations I won't uh, use the profile corrections because it brightens up the corners way too much because the this lens has some vignetting going on but most of the time I like some of it because I create a vignette in all of my images anyways to concentrate the view on some parts on some specific parts so it doesn't make sense for me to remove it and then later on uh, add it again so I will just keep it how it is and the distortion is not too bad as you can see so that's all good um, and when you look at the, at the histogram then you can see here that I have, of course, some 
really dark parts here, but that's okay. And also some bright parts from the, yeah, from the street lights. I actually wanted to do a, a darker exposure so I can, yeah, handle those lights here better. But uh, yeah, I did with some other compositions, but not with this one. But at the end, I like this one the best. So yeah, that's how it is. I have some wider ones where you can see also the, the rocks more in the foreground, but then they look really ugly because of the, the street lights here. But I have darker exposures there, like I said. But in this case, I don't, but it's still not too bad because I can, there's a lot of headroom still, a lot of room in the, the bright tones. And when it's a little bit clipped, at least a little bit, it doesn't look too bad to me because when you are at night, the lights look really bright. So it's okay. But I will show you how to work with that, like I said. So enough uh, yeah, talking around here. Let's get started with the other adjustments in this Camera Raw um, program. First of all, we will go down with the highlights. Not too much because then I will lose all the contrast, as you can see. And I want to keep some of the bright parts. So I will still allow some clipping up there. So something like 20 or 19, something around there. And then I will also go down with the exposure because I want to darken it so it looks more like night. And I want to have it moody. And then I will raise the blacks because otherwise all the dark tones will get way too dark because of yeah, um, reducing the exposure here. I will also go up with the shadows, but not much, just a little. And I will reduce clarity because I want this mystic look a night image needs in my opinion something around the yeah, minus 13 because when i re uh, introduce clarity then it looks too crunchy and too harsh i don't like this look so i like to remove it a little bit in most of my images especially in dreamy ones like this and yeah contrast let's see um i think i want to remove contrast so it's not too harsh again. Something around minus 13 is fine. And then I will also darken down the exposure a bit more. Something around here maybe. Pull back the highlights with reduction. And yeah, it looks okay so far. Uh, vibrance and saturation. I won't touch for now, we will see later, but right now it's okay. Maybe a little bit more tint. Yeah, something around there. And now I will use a graduated filter. I will, by double clicking on those um, sliders, you reset the settings. I will now use some more tint so I can reduce this green cast a bit more. We'll just drag it here. I don't have to explain how it works. It's an advanced tutorial guys, so I guess you know. So I will just show you what I do. Uh, yep, I think that's, uh, let's see. Well, that's of course way too strong, but something around here. And then I will also cool it down a bit more because it's still too warm from the lights here, which is normal that this happens. Yeah, something like this for now. And what I also like to do is I like to add some whites, but in this case, it's a little bit problematic because of the street lights here. So I will use a, another graduated filter and I try to not hit this part of the image because this is the brightest. So let's reset this here and add some whites and go up there. And now you see it has, it brightens it up really nice. So it gets some nice contrast from the moon light, something like this. I really like to work with those graduated filters, especially in the raw already, because yeah, they give you a lot of nice options to control your tones in the raw file already. So it's a good, it's a good point to use them. 
And what I will also do, I will use this gray, uh, this radial filter and I will smooth it completely to 100. And then I will drag it here because I want that this part of the image is a little bit brighter. Because as you can already see, the moon is hitting it. So it has some nice shadows. But I want to emphasize this because then you have a nice um, yeah, feeling like the moon is even stronger. And I like to do this with this radial filter. You can see this also in some of my other images when I have sunlight or something. I also I really like some bright part and some edge so it looks like the light is hitting this part more than the other so it creates some nice visual contrast. Visual, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> my English. Uh, I will now decrease um, this dehaze filter because this adds this nice um, diffuse look. And as you can see, it's it's really weird in the colors here. I don't know why. So I won't decrease it too much. And I will cool it down so it doesn't add this weird color cast. Whatever it's doing it. So saturation. Maybe I won't use that much of the whites and a bit of the exposure. Yeah, this looks better something like this, but a little bit bigger. Oh, yeah. Something like this here. It's a bit trial and error. So yeah, I'm a bit confused why it's adding this color cast because usually it doesn't. But I think what I will do is I will um, do this later in the camera raw filter in Photoshop. You can also do it there. And I think that might work better. So yeah, like I said, trial and error. So let's delete this here. Here, let's remove it. Maybe it's because the overall image is still too warm. I don't know. Like I said, I will try it later. So I will reduce the temperature a bit more. And now I will go down with vibrance because then I will also remove some blue because I don't want it to be too blue. I just want it not to be warm. So something like that. Yep, that's good. And now let's add some sharpness. Just like 45, that's enough. And 35 detail. That's my standard amount for my Canon camera. And then I'm masking it out in the sky because there's a lot of noise. Or let's lay a little bit of noise. And I will also add some luminance noise reduction. So it's not too noisy. But as you can see, those settings really help. It's sharp, but not too noisy now, which is good. So, yeah, I think that's fine. Later on, I will warm up the, the lights here a bit more, but I will do this in Photoshop. Maybe just a bit back there. Let's check, let's first reset those settings here. With the radial filter, I will use it here. So those lights don't look too cool. Because I like it when city lights are a bit warmer than the rest of the image. Something like this. And I can also go down with the whites so it's a bit darker. Uh, that's too much, of course. I just tried. I just wanted to see how it looks. Something like that. Okay. I also want to work with the perspective because yeah, I want this part here a little bit. Yeah, I want something, some less space here and I want to increase the size of the mountain a little bit and I also want to remove those waves down there. But I will do this then later, not in camera raw. Uh, before I go into Photoshop, I will um, add some more magenta because this part here looks, looks a little bit green. And I don't like greens. Uh, I don't like green hues, let's say, like this. Uh, that's too much. Something like that is okay. Perfect. Let's double check. Let's also go to the uh, color section here, HSL. And let's see if I can already warm up the yellows in the raw by removing green. 
Yeah, and it's, it's actually working a little bit. Let's also use orange. It was shifted more towards red, which of course introduces or increases the warmth. And let's see, let's also work with the reds here because I want to um, increase the saturation of the of the huts here. So it's a nice contrast. And let's see, luminance decrease or increase, uh, maybe decrease and yeah more red more red <laughs> and i reduced the luminance of yellow i think i also yeah it's removing a little bit of the bright part here as well nice that looks good it's like i said it's trial and error i talk and then i play around <laughs> that's how it works in my editing so when i zoom in I see some parts which I don't like. I don't like this ladder here. I will remove this in post. And I also want to remove this shield. Of course, it's a street, so you can't remove everything. But this here, yeah, annoys me. So this will, this has this have to go. This has to go. Um, okay. Looking good. Looking real good. I don't know why it's in. Hmm. Yeah. Like I said, I will try it later. Vignetting is fine, maybe a little bit, maybe some more black increase and some more magenta. Yeah, that's it so far. 